how to use Setmore to manage your bookings and create amazing looking bookings for your business. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will showcase Setmore. This platform is going to help you create your bookings for your business. That is going to be, it can be online, it could be classes, it could be uh, specific services that you create and more. Now you can actually get started for free. Uh, it does have three plans. The free plan, which is going to be free forever. You've got the pro plan and then team plan, which is going to be uh, different when it comes to the uh, user amount, basically. Uh, we'll talk about the pricing a little bit later, but you can just go to setmore.com and actually just get started for free. Uh, so here's going to be the pricing. You can just get uh, to this page and compare uh, all the pricing yourself. See which ones suit you and your team best. But for the time being, you can just test out the free version. It's actually very great. It does provide you with a lot of tools. Uh, so with that being said, let's actually get started. To get started, you just click on start for free on the top right. Uh, and you just need to sign up basically. So you can just sign up using Google or email, just so on. You know, basic sign up process. I'm just going to do so and be get back to you once I'm done. Uh, and I will just use uh, Google for this. Okay, so after you sign up, you just go ahead and connect more of your stuff. You can connect your Google and Microsoft. This is going to also connect the calendars for your Google account and Microsoft account. So if you're using a specific one and you want to integrate it, this would be a great way to do so. Also, they're going to ask you for your phone number, so make sure you provide that. But after you're done, you just click on next and it should load up for you. You should find yourself within the dashboard and be ready to go. So the first thing that you can do once you're in this dashboard is you can just click on the plus icon over here on the right uh, and you can just add your team members right off the bat. You just enter their full name, email, and then the permission level that they will be getting so they can just have no access at all. Uh, they can have standard enhanced or make them admin. So just add your team members and now you should uh, be good to go. So we have the calendar view first and here you can obviously add your bookings, new bookings, create service, add customer um, and create a class. Now service is a individual type of thing. So for example, if you're running a barbershop, uh, it's, a, you know, it's, it's a one session. So that's a service. Uh, and then for the class, it's going to be more of a uh a place that you know can have more than just one customer at the same time so that's the difference between the two okay and you can obviously add customers here as well so you can just change the view and stuff uh, over here as well but the first thing that you would need to do is just go to the left panel here where you'll find calendar you'll just go to services the second one right here uh you may find uh, if you just started uh, some um placeholders here so we can just go ahead and delete them make sure that this is empty and we replace them with services that we actually want to provide so in here what we will do is just create service and then we will just give it a description so what is the service that you will you want people to book for basically so we can just do haircut or whatever whatever it may be so we could just do haircut. You can just give it a description, um, just a general haircut. Uh, and yeah, let's just leave it at that. So well, next we just set up the duration. So how long would it take to actually, you know, get one session done? Uh, let's just say uh, 30 minutes buffer time. So these are going to be between the two bookings. So uh, how much time you want between the two. Let's just do 10 minutes. We don't really want to waste any more time. Cost. Now, it depends on the currency. It does ask you about the currency before uh, once you sign up. Uh, and I believe you can also change it within the settings. But here's my currency from United Arab Emirates. We can just do how much. It would be uh, 50 or something. So it just doesn't matter. Just set up the cost that you uh, think is suitable. And then location too. Uh, we can just set it up to be in person. Uh, this way you can just add your custom location and they can just, you know, uh, get over there themselves. And ca category, uh, we don't really have any yet, so we can just keep this off. 
and we we can set it as hidden uh, i'm not sure why you would want to do that unless you know you know exactly what you're doing for you and your team members uh, but just keep this off and click on create also beforehand if you just click on it we can edit things out and i forgot to say that you can also upload an image which should showcase uh the uh basically the uh service that you will be providing i'm just going to use any image here just to showcase how it's going to look like later on so let me just upload this green color for some reason and just click on update and now it is completely updated so here we can add categories so we can just add categories and set them up to the actual services so we can just click on new service category uh, give it a name uh, haircut create and we just select this one click on create and now it has a category set and done also if you want to create classes we can also do so so it's also going to be very simple if you just want to create class you can just go from here uh, create class and do the same thing basically just follow the same steps now this is going to be underneath services now for customers you're going to have the list of all the customers that you have integrations you can integrate with uh, apps that you like with stripe paypal and so on payment methods and all those things uh, and then for settings here you can see uh, you have the link here if you open up this link it's actually going to show you the booking uh, tab for you uh, you can see now we have this service haircut for 50 dirhams uh, and uh, the image here as well and you can actually set up how it looks like and everything so let's actually go ahead and do so to change things up we can just go ahead to settings right here and we can just click on booking page and from here we can actually set up how it's going to look like we can just click on customize and set up the image the background image and so on so if we go back i wanted to do something i forgot yeah uh, the uh, the working hours that's what i wanted to set up uh, that's a very important thing you can just go to the three dots on the main menu change working hours and then here we can just set up all the working hours we can set up one uh, and we can just adjust it uh, apply to all and now you can see it changes same goes for the rest so you can just you know change uh, the days and times that you want to work if let's say you don't want to work on Thursday or Friday we can just add Thursday for example uh, and Sunday as well so it depends you can just you know play around with the times and make sure that you set it up completely to your liking and then we can just set up breaks as well so if you have specific breaks that you want to add we can just go ahead and add them and you will just need to specify uh, the breaks at what time they're going to be same goes for time off so for example if you're going on vacation or something you can just add time and you just select the start date and end date uh, which should let them know that you're off at that time and that's pretty much it if we just go back to settings we can actually just set up this link change it up a little bit so we can just change this uh, to something else and we can just you know play around with it make sure it uh, works to our liking and that's pretty much how to use it it's very simple and easy uh, and that's why i like set more to use it for my bookings it's very easy and simple to use and also at the same time you can connect a lot of apps like facebook instagram and so much more uh, this way you can actually if you have a page for your business you can just showcase the booking tab or link and your social media and just makes things a lot easier so with that being said this is how to use set more to manage your bookings for your business so i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching